Hi everyone, this is Tiana. Hello. Um, brighten up your social media for a little bit and also to you know, teach you something about nail stamping that perhaps you didn't know before. And if this is your first time uh, joining us, and welcome to Free Maniology. You know, we're here because we want to empower your self-expression one manicure at a time. Today, if you read that I'm stamping with powder, so give me a heart emoji if you guys are super excited to do this new technique, because I am. Two techniques today. The first one, we're actually going to be using the sticky uh, base coat that we sell here at Maniology. And I'm not sure if you guys saw the picture, but it's kind of this technique here. Now, granted, I had a, I think I had like a, a beigey background for this, but I used a powder to stamp over this. Yeah, I see some hearts, good. So I wanted to actually show you guys this technique first and um, then to kind of give you a quick intro of what I'm gonna do after, um, I'm gonna be stamping with powder. So this one I know you guys can't see because uh, it's, you know, black base and stuff, but that one is so gorgeous. Okay, grab some of my black tips here. And um, see that these are matte. Um, I just put a matte base. That doesn't mean that you need to. You can just put, um, you know, your black. I just use our straight up black. And again, the sticky. Then I have some powders here. Here's like a silver. And then here's two colors that we currently have. This is the Sapphire and the Tanzanite, which is this gorgeous purple. Okay, because I'm lazy and I don't want to clean my mat after, so I'm going to put a um, paper towel here. Yeah, that's just me. And, you know, being creative gets a little messy sometimes. So, you know, I'm just trying to bypass that whole, that whole thing there. So this one is just gonna be a technique using your stamper. I'm just using the Holly Jolly. Um, another idea, or I'm sorry, something to kind of note when you're using powders on your stamper, I would definitely recommend, because over time, if you continue to do this technique, um, there is a chance that there's gonna be cloudiness on your stamper. So, you know, use a stamper that you don't mind getting, I guess, a little ruined. <laughs> Um, over time. It's not instant. You know, I've used this stamper a number of times and it's still very clear. You can see through. It's no problem, but over time it will. So this process is going to take some time to dry because we are going to want a tacky surface. Not wet and not dry, but a tacky surface. So let me go ahead and paint this on. I'm trying to be as light-handed as possible. And just make sure to cover the whole area. Let me just do two. I feel like the matte base, just for the sake of the video, kind of helps you to see how, you know, even I guess my, my paints are too. So there's that. Okay, so let's let them sit for a little bit. And again, we want it to be tacky. It's unfortunate, you know, unfortunately, I don't have a specific time because it really depends on how heavy handed you are in the process. But if you maybe give it a moment, you can run your finger over it. If it's still wet, then you can't do this. So again, it's tacky. In the meantime, while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go ahead and put powder onto my monocle stamper here. So I just lightly dip the powder into the container and I'm gonna just smudge that on top of the surface of the stamper. You see that? So it's not heavy. I'm not putting a whole lot. I want just a nice thin even layer. So if you see, it just kind of looks like that. So let me just lightly touch this. Okay. Feels a little tacky, so kind of wet, but basically what I want to say is if it's too wet, it's gonna be clumpy. And, um, and if the surface is too dry, 
it won't stick. So those are really things to remember and stuff. Um, so here, do my best to line it up. Oh, maybe I should make it a little. Just so you guys can see the technique. And I'm just going to snap it on top of the nail. Can you see that? There you go. Okay. So now your stamper looks like this. I'm just gonna use my sticky stamper station right here. And I'm just gonna clean it, just like that. We oftentimes get questions about how to clean the stamper. This is the best tool. You should have it at your um, station. Um, if you're just beginning stamping or if you do, you've done this a while, sticky stamper, stamper station is an awesome little paper pad tool to have. Uh, if you do not have the sticky stamper station, tape will work. So there you go, clean. Let me try the purple now. So again, lightly tapping it inside. I'm not getting much, just enough to kind of do a light film, even film. Alrighty, wish me luck. Let's see. So again, Assuming, of course, we, we would cover the whole nail, but... There you go. Okay. have some areas that um, didn't quite take, you can just go with the powder. Unless it is dry, which actually, this one, because it was the second one, was kind of dry. So that's why some of these powders aren't going to take, but if it's still tacky, just go ahead and lightly pat it on. So you see how like that edge didn't have any. I'm just gonna lightly pat some of the excess powder from the stamper and just put it on. There you go. Oh my gosh, the sapphire color is so pretty. So there. And then to seal, I would use our smudge free top coat. This is a water-based top coat and um, it would help to make it all nice and shiny. So let me go ahead and paint one just so you can see what that would look like. So if you're not sure what to do with all those beautiful powders, there's one technique that you can do. Stamp. So now, let me move these on the side. Okay, now stamping with powder. I love that girl, she looks so gorgeous. That one looks cool too. So, I'm gonna show these on white tips just because I have darker polishes and I think it'll just show up a lot nicer. Just before we get started that I wanna note, when we're gonna choose a design, to stamp uh, doing this this technique, you need to choose a design that has thicker lines. Uh, anything that has extremely thin line work, possibly a design like this, it won't work. And it's just because um, the powder itself. So, you know, a thicker design that looks like this will work, something like this, but something that has extreme, extreme, um, you know, fine line work probably won't be the best option. Not to say you couldn't try though. If you wanna get a little creative, go for it, try it. But, so let me show you a couple of designs. Actually, I wanna try this little marble design and this is on our uh, chic, peak, chic Peak Plate, excuse me. Um, okay. So another thing, when you're doing this technique, the, the surface, has to be, has to be dry and it has to be matte. Um, so what happens though when your surface or your background is way too tacky? If it's not matte, like a matte surface, um, basically your powder will stick to the background and you can't, you know, that's not what you want. <laughs> so, 
same thing, kind of like what we did last time. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our powder onto the surface of the stamper. Oh. Do blue marble. What do you guys think? Blue marbling. Again, thin layers. It doesn't have to be fully caked on or anything. Just, you know, light, even layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black polish and it's just because I really want, um, I don't want any other color to show. I just want something that's just going to act as kind of like a adherent to pick up the design. Okay, so let's put, this is just our um, straight up black stamping polish. And we're gonna stamp just like how we normally would. So just picking up the design. There you go. And let's see. And there you go. See that? Part eyes if you like this. I think this is so pretty. Maybe because my um, I'm gonna show you guys the technique again. Okay. So this one, because I have the purple, I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, Tanzanite. And if you have hollow powders, chrome powders, you know, th that can work too. It doesn't have to be the mirror powder. So there you go. I'm just putting, putting on the powder onto my stamper. So now that I've done that, again, I'm just going to go in with the straight up black snapping polish and do the regular snapping technique. Cool. Oh, if you have a whole stack of powders, you can go ahead and do this technique. So, so now you guys have two different techniques that you can go ahead and use your powder with. This technique, when you are stamping with the, uh, using the regular stamp technique and picking up an image like how I did, this background, your surface, whatever color you're using, it has to be mattified. It has to be completely dry. Any site of tackiness, it's gonna, basically your powder is gonna stick and then you know your design is gonna get a little muddled and stuff. But you see how clean and crisp the lines are on like this girl's face and for the marbling and then also for like this tie-dye design, which is really super cool. Um, it's because I mattified the white. So after this, if you want, um, let's go ahead and put the smudge, smudge free top coat. And this will help to really keep the, um, the powders really nice and shiny. And so let's just paint that so you can kind of see what your design will look like. There you go. Smudging and it makes it glossy and pretty and shiny. That kind of sums up whatever, you know, the, these tech, two techniques. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions that I didn't cover or I didn't get to, go ahead and, um, com you know, continue asking your questions. Sorry, I'm all tongue-tied today. And either the Maniology team or myself will get to them and I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas, please feel free to let us know. We're always looking for other techniques or things that you want to see and um, I'll see you next time.
Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.